Hey guys, Cell Phone Hospital team here, and today I'll be showing you how to remove the Google account lock or FRP lock on a Google Pixel 2 XL. It is currently running 8.1 Android version. So right now, um, obviously it's asking us for our Google account, and I already have it connected to Wi-Fi as you can see. Um, so from here, what we're gonna do is just hit the back button. We're gonna go all the way back to the setup screen. Next, we're going to do is click on vision settings. We're going to hit where it says talk back. And we're going to turn talk back on. We're going to hit OK. Talk back on. Talk back is a screen reader primarily. Now we're we're going to hit the story. back button. Back button you click once and then double, double tap. tap, to activate, double tap and hold From this menu, we're going to do uh, talk back. L pattern. Talk back. Alert global context menu. From here, we're going to go to text to, I'm sorry, talk back settings. Talk Now we're gonna turn talk back off and talk back off is pretty much, you know, for those that uh, uh, are visually impaired. So the way to turn this off is we're gonna hold the volume up and the volume down key together at the same time. Until you get that. Now we're gonna hit click once and then double tap. Now we're we now we have that shortcut enabled. We're gonna hit, we're gonna press down on volume up, volume down again. You'll hear that. Now you can scroll through the screen normally. So now we're gonna do a scroll down where it says help and feedback there. And we're gonna to go to get started with voice access. And this is gonna give us a link to YouTube. So this is, gonna, this is going to get us into the browser. So we're gonna click there. And then click on the title. Double click or just click once and it should bring you to this. And then just hit not now. From here, we're just going to drag this down, and we're going to go over here to this icon, top right. We're going to go to settings, we're going to go to about, and we're going to go to YouTube's, YouTube terms and services, and now we're going to hit accept and continue, no thanks there. Now I'm going to type in something on the search bar, so just uh, watch carefully and just type it in the right way. So this is going to be... V N R O M dot net forward slash bypass, and it should be that third one right there. Just click there, it should look like this. From here, we're going to install two uh, different uh, APKs down here. Just go ahead and hit that X right there. Um, just hit X as well. So, we're going to install two things. The first one we're going to install is this one right here the FRP V N ROM APK. Click there. We're going to hit continue, allow. We're going to hit OK down here. Now, once installed, it'll prompt us if we want to open it. We're just going to uh, ignore that for now. The next one we're going to install is that Apex Launcher, which is this one right here. So we'll click there. We'll hit OK. And this one we'll go ahead and open. From here, we're going to go to settings, allow this source from this source, hit that back arrow, and hit install. Once we get it installed, we're going to hit open. And then we're about halfway there. So this gets us into, uh, it looks like the launcher of the phone almost. So we're going to go to the menu apps down here. Now, from here, we're going to disable two things. So just watch very carefully. First thing, we're going to go to settings. We're going to scroll down and look for security and location. And we're going to scroll down a little bit where it says device administrators right there. We're going to uncheck that box and we're going to hit deactivate. Once deactivated, it's going to show that it's in check. We're going to go back. Now we're going to look for apps and notifications, which is right there. See all 32 apps. We're going to hit those three dots over here on the top right corner. We're going to go to show system. Now we're going to look for Google Play services, which is, uh, this is in alphabetical order. So just scroll down until you get to the G's, uh, which is right there. A little puzzle piece. Click there, and we're going to hit disable. Disable app. Now, if you don't do the first thing that the first step that we did or prior to this, it uh, it won't let you disable. It'll just be grayed out. So it is very crucial, very important. So we're just gonna hit that back button over here, and right here we're gonna hit back. Hit back one more time. Now we're back into the uh, to the menu apps. Now we're gonna go to downloads. Um, now we're gonna install that second APK, which is that FRPV and ROM, 
And we're gonna go ahead and next right there, install. And just give it a few seconds. It doesn't take too long. We're just gonna hit done. We're not gonna open it. So we're gonna hit back. And now we're gonna go back into settings. Now what this does is this downgrades the Google account manager and it lets us sign in with the with an old Google account manager. So we click users and accounts and then just go to add an account and hit that uh, Google icon. Now if it prompts you with this, um, just ignore that. Just hit anywhere, tap anywhere else on the screen. Just tap there. Now we're going to go ahead and um, put in your desired Google account that you would like to use. So now that, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to use mine, hit uh, I agree. It'll show that now, it shows that it uh, that you're logged in. So now we're going to hit that back key. We're back in the settings. So we're going to re-enable those two things that we disabled. So the first thing we're going to do is go back into apps and notifications and see all 33 apps. And up here in this little arrow, click there and then hit disabled apps. It'll, it'll take you there quicker. Um, enable that. Now we're going to go back, back again. Now we're going to look for security and location. We're going to go to device administrators again and go ahead and check these two boxes. You get that new one that appeared right there, that find my device, which is fine, activate it. Now we're going to hit that uh, power key and go ahead and restart the device. So that's restarting. Um, and again, um, you know, it's just take a, a few seconds to restart. But the uh, reason why, you know, we're showing you how to do this is, uh, you know, um, just for the reason that sometimes you buy a device from someone or somewhere online. Um, and it is reset. But on these newer devices, it is very crucial to remove the Google account uh, the, from the, own, you know, the owner it's, uh, themselves remove it before they reset it. Because when they reset it, it will ask for that Google account. Um, to that buyer, uh, so that's the reason why, or simply because you forget your password and you do a reset on the device. So I mean, it happens. So now again, we get we're prompted by this. Just I guess, just click on anywhere on the screen. Now we're gonna hit that start button. We're gonna hit skip. Now we're gonna set up as new start. Again, we're connected to Wi-Fi already, so it says account added. So uh, previously didn't say that, so we're gonna go hit next. That means it added that account that you uh, signed in with. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna skip all this for now. That way, we get into the device and see that it actually worked. Hit skip and then just agree. No thanks. And that says adding finishing touches. And then I'll show you guys, uh, you know, proof that it you know that it gets us into the device. Um, so I didn't skip through anything or added any special things that I didn't show on there. So right here, it's going to prompt the select home app. We're just going to do the Google Pixel launcher. Uh, just hit close app there if it prompts you. Um, and then just hit always. Um, now this is the actual launcher from Google, as you can see. Now um, what I'm going to what I'm going to do is to show you that it works. Is uh, before I mean you're not able to drag down that uh, there's a notification panel right here. So once in here, just go to the settings again. And for me. You know, I'm going to go ahead and just remove it, which is my account. And now I'm going to go down towards the system and I'm going to do a reset options and I'm going to erase all data. Um, and you will have to do this yourself, too, because of those two APKs that we installed on there. It's going to make the phone um, act all wacky and whatnot. So you don't want that. Um, once that's, uh, you know, once you got that going, it'll take, you know, about two, three minutes to get fully reset and then just sign in normally. Um, and then you'll have a brand new phone um, or it'll be like a brand new phone, actually, uh, completely wiped, nothing on there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty simple. Again, this is for the 8.1 version. Um, it might work for the 9.0. Um, I haven't came across one of those yet, but uh, I mean, don't hold me up to it, but I would just try it. I mean, if it doesn't work, um, shortly, once I get one, I'll put a video for that as well. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching.